Hey everybody, it's Mastrath here, and welcome to the first ever Global Trophy Champion of Champions. I'm joined alongside... Sam Elliott 64 as ever. As ever. And are you ready for this, Sam? This is uh, going to be very interesting. I don't think we've done this before. It's it's all new. Um, I'm excited to see how it turns out, really. The space it is, it's a very different atmosphere for this. Obviously, it's every four years instead of every year, which is pretty fun. Um... And we finally get to see who is the best of the best. Obviously, we've seen for the last few years the Global Trophy actually taking part in you know, Portugal, shockingly winning the 2018 one. Um, I'm intrigued to see how it gets on. Yes, well, um, we got away uh, another week for Portugal. Um, yes. But for people who don't know who are uh, in each group, uh, go check out the uh, the group draw that we did last week. It was definitely last week, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Definitely. It was uploaded last week. That's close enough. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> it was. It was recorded about, I think, three three months ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a good good while ago. Oh yes, uh, but I did spend about twenty minutes watching through that video just to get all the teams up and everything. So there we go. Because I, as a moron, didn't decide to write them down in the first place. That was silly, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, how, the... You know, imagine imagine this, ladies and gents. Imagine being the guy who organises everything and then just. Completely ignores it. <laughs> That's me. Yes. That's me completely. Um, you know, it's like I didn't even I, I didn't even get to keep my lovely fonts I put in for each team. Silly sausage. Lovely fonts like Comic Sans and all that stuff. Anyway, so for the uh, Global Trophy Champion of Champions, uh, we know the World Cup has just begun, and I already see yes. England going out in the group stage. Or, or alternatively, if we if we won our first game, yay! Yay! I think this is going up on like the fourteenth of June or whatever, so we wouldn't have played our first game by uh, yet. I think. Mm. Oh right, well um, in that case. Yeah, we're recording this on the twenty uh, ninth of May, so we're pretty close to the World Cup. Mm. That's why me and Sam have pretty much in the last few weeks just been sort of chatting, going, we got to actually start doing this, so we're going to miss yeah. our time. Yeah, pretty much. You know, obviously. These videos do, do have to require you know, a bit of editing and such, so it, it takes a bit of time to, to get around to it. Oh, know. yeah. Yeah, especially with... Although this is like... recorded after the Champions League final. Rest in peace, Liverpool fans. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, that was horrible, yeah. that was. It was, it was. it was a tough game for him. Yeah. I, I, I do sympathise enough the fact that, you know, Carrots is a young kid and he's, he's made a mistake, but he's got to be doing better than that hasn't he oh yeah and the Egyptian lawyer suing Ramos for like a billion <laughs> did you hear about that yeah. conveniently Egypt are not in this no no they're not <laughs> no so um how the how this goes uh everyone hopefully watching this as a football fan knows that the World Cup is a um tournament with 32 teams in it with uh eight groups of four for the uh, group stage uh, with us, since we're doing this once per week, we've swapped it around. So it's actually four groups of eight. Well, eight teams that can actually do well in it. And uh, since, obviously, it's this game, uh, we have to have a dud team. The dud team is yeah. going to be England, of course. Why not? Why not? <laughs> um, England did not make the cut, I'm afraid, for the uh, for the uh, 30, top, 32. top 32 teams. And, nope. uh, yep, they will be the dud team. Uh, pretty much what that means um, is just... They will lose three nil in every single one of their matches, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So it, it rounds itself off and becomes fair in the end, apart from England. But who cares? So um, well, Eng England is unfortunate. They they not performed enough in the previous tournament, so hence yeah. why they're not in the top thirty-two. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, for this first Global Trophy Champion Champions, we are uh, putting together pretty much the top thirty-two teams from the history of the Global Trophy, but. Uh, for the next, well, in four years' time, it'll be from uh, the last four years of Global Trophy yeah. competitions. Just to yeah, make so it a bit between, fair. Between uh, 2022 and 2019, those, those four tournaments. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. But for this one, it's from like 2005 to 2018. So it's a big spectrum. There are some teams who were really good like a long time ago, but have not done very well recently, but are still just barely in the top 32. So that's what mm. we're doing for that. Um so, yeah, the top four teams from each group go through to a, uh, a round of 16 where it becomes straight knockout. Um, there is one thing which you need a dud team in every single or a, a playable team in each of these uh, areas. So the team that will be the dud team in the round of 16, it's a shame, <clears throat> but it'll be the team with the lowest points out of the uh, 
out of uh, out of any group. So pretty much the team with the lowest points um, that have qualified will be the dud team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think you know, it's it's only fair, but it's just one of those unfortunate things. You know, if, if they don't do well enough. Yeah. So there'll be some teams yeah. who uh, who have finished fourth, and they're like, "Yay, we're through." But you better be wary. Might just still be the dud team and not have your chance at global trophy glory, right, Australia? <laughs> I don't know why I just watch mentioned Australia. Australia for that win the whole thing now. <laughs> I don't know why I just mentioned Australia for that, but yeah. Anyway, it is time for Group A, and we'll be uh, selecting the teams here. Um, we're actually going to go number of legs two to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more in depth. A, pro a proper, a proper league rather than a, a yeah. you know, like unlike the normal World Cup. Um... The World Cup yeah, groups, pretty much, and that, it, that know, also it, yeah. sort of fans out possible sort of fluke wins and stuff. So we get like the top sixteen, just the meat of the the entire situation here. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So there we go. So this is pretty much the group of cake, uh, pretty much mm. here, I guess. Uh, the group of death will be coming um, uh, next week. Is the group of death? Yes. So there we go. But first off, it's the group of cake. First off, let's pick the dud team in England. Yeah. Unfortunately, obviously England will lose every game. With that said, um, that's, a, that's apparent. That's obvious. You know. It's just, yes. So it's they, England. Instead of, instead of having eight teams per league, it's actually nine. But you get the idea. It's yeah. the same pattern. It's small. For the for sort of the purest of the things like this, just for every other team, take off six points take off six goal difference and take off six goals for and you've mm -hmm. got your you've got your set so there we go yeah anyway yeah, exactly next up the lowest ranked team in this group is ranked number 30 which is new zealand the first team to come out actually in the uh, the draw mm -hmm. yeah it's true and then me and sam i believe had a uh, massive uh, uh, a talk about a certain old joke i think about that well, due, what, due to their rank sorry, number what, what, rank, what rank were they 30 oh there you go. Excellent. All right, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Next is rank number twenty. I'm not going to do it for all of them. I'm not going to be like they're rank number twenty-seven. Uh, it just okay. it, it doesn't roll the tongue just as well. Uh, but rank number no. twenty-seven is Russia. Russia, of course, famous for. Um, be careful. Bears, top bears, bears, on, bears on unicycles. There you go. No, hey, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Ugh. Be wary. Mm. You'd be very, be very wary here. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we, next... We, we, don't want you, we don't want your channel taken down, Chris. Come on now. I know. Jeez. <laughs> if, if YouTube wanted to do it, they would have done it by now. Let's be honest. It's very true. It's very true. It's very true. Uh, anyway, next up, first team representing Africa here. Ranked number 26, Tunisia. It's a very African group, I've noticed. Tunisia's a good team. Um, I think they did quite well in the... Um... I think they did quite well in the last global trophy. I want to say, I want to say they did quite well in the Africa section. Africa, of course, was kind of blown wide open when Niger didn't Nigeria go out in really early on? I think they did. Yeah. Like craziness. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, this, this is like six months since we've done the global trophy, so our apologies if we forget any facts. Yeah, man, we can't. We can't. You know, remember everything. We remember, we remember that France have won it four times and stuff, but you know, yeah. we remember that. Yeah. We remember and Portugal won Portugal. it last year. Portugal won it last year, so we remember exactly. that at least. Exactly. We, remember the, we remember the winners, no one remembers losers. Not saying that Tunisia Ooh. loses, I mean, they're in here, so there we go. Yeah, exactly. Next team, rank number 22, is Côte d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Mmm. I, I think they did do quite well in the uh, African. I think, they, I think they made the final, didn't they? With. Cameroon, I want to say. Was it Senegal or something? Oh, that was it. It was Senegal. Yeah. Wasn't Senegal won it? Yeah. That was it. That was, it was crazy. It was one yeah. of those random ones where uh, Cameroon and Nigeria didn't. That's it. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm going to get my, the, the fact sheet open. Oh, you get your document. fact sheets. Okay. Oh, well, do you know what? Do you know what? what? This is a 2016 edition. Brilliant. Oh, I no. It. Boo. I love it. Boo. Excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> I live for it. That's it. Yep. Nice. Never mind. Nice. Um, All right. Uh, next team, rank number twenty-one, is Ghana. So we're, as, as you can see, 
five teams in and three of them were African. Also, five teams in and none of them are in the top 20 yet. So yeah, this is the group of cake for a lot of t for the top it's, it's three. It's quite, you know, there's, there's a potential for these guys to real, really make a name for themselves. Oh yeah, well, let's say that Germany, Nigeria and Spain, who are, spoiler alerts, the next, uh, or the, the, they'll be the top three the teams three. in the league. The big three, yeah. That does leave a slot open for a team that, you know, could make an impact in the uh, the final 16, so... Yeah, my, my next question is this, does does winning this tournament affect rankings at all? No. Okay, it's just, a, it's just it's a for funsies. It's for, it's, it's for honour. Oh, okay. It's for, that's, it's for that's bragging all rights. That's all good then. You know, I highly doubt with my subscriber base we're going to have like a, a massive <laughs> feud in the comments I mean, between I, I people thought, from you know, Nigeria and Germany on, though. But... Yeah, yeah, we've got a big following. Big, big following. We'll advertise the bloody thing sometimes. Plug it! <laughs> No. <laughs> plug it, plug it, damn you. Or, or I'll get Anderson in instead and he'll just say, I hate this every five seconds. Yeah, he, he would say that. Yeah, he, he would say that. He would. He doesn't like football. Uh, anyway, oh. next is rank number 10, former Global Trophy Champions, Germany. Only one time, though. Mmm, Germany. Good team. Look at the Germans. Mm, they, I, think they really, I think they didn't even make it into the finals this time, did they? I think they had, didn't they have, well, I want to say Spain or something like that early on. You know, I'm thinking that's possibly a chance since Croatia won the European sector last last yeah. year, so or this year. So, that's so weird. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But sometimes it happens. You know, sometimes yeah. the global trophy, especially last year, the global trophy can be unpredictable. It was ridiculous last year. It was so just, everything was all over the place. Oh yeah. Uh, next is uh, rank number seven, Nigeria. <sighs> yes, I thought Nigeria were going to win the whole thing. It was certain. Well, either that or Italy. Italy was certainly another team that was. Uh... They should have. They, they should have won it. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they they've done so it. well, Italy, but they've they've made it to here. They made it to the Global Trophy Champion of Champions at least at rank number five. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we'll get on to them when we get to uh, Group B. They're in the Group of Death. So. Oh right. Well, yeah. we we will see about uh, Italy. Yes, and uh, last but not least, the highest ranked team in Group A, which is rank number four, Spain. Three-time winners. Yep, the three-time champion, so certainly uh, the, the the winningest team, <laughs> the most successful team in uh, in this group, apart uh, from obviously Spain, England. Spain, Spain win every, what is it, every few years? Isn't it five? Or is that Brazil? Uh, I think it's, yeah, Spain, Spain win every five years. Yeah, so there we go. Maybe maybe Spain can add this to their collection? Never know. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Their, 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 next, their next championship is during 2021, so watch out for that one out there. <laughs> if we're still doing it at that point, we should be. Yeah. We should yeah. be. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Here is what it says at the top there, the league. But it's a the, group the, stage. The league. It's the, the league. league. And the we're league. going to kick off with a dud match. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Ivory Coast start. versus England, so... That's well, Ivory Coast best. off to a good, a good start. Uh, a very <laughs> good be, start. I don't, I don't know. It could, could be worse. Uh, it could be worse. They could have got Spain in the first and then just like lost by like mm. seventy-five nil, which has never happened. What's the highest 70, it's been? Has it been like? Haven't, 70. We, had, like, haven't we had like a twenty before or nineteen? Nah, or I think I think it was I think it was eighteen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but we had an eighteen before, like an eighteen. Oh no, 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 19, 19 Well, yeah, nineteen nil, and it was um, Morocco versus Somalia, and then Iran versus the Cook Islands. <laughs> Poor Cook Islands. They never, Cook got, Island. they never got any luck at all. No. <laughs> they just never got any luck whatsoever. Nope. I think that's what you get true. sometimes. You know, that's why. That's probably why we've added in the um, uh, the, the the preliminary uh, leagues for each, just so that doesn't happen too much, and it gives team their right teams their rightful chance to uh, be able to make it the finals properly instead of just being picked at random. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it's a good it's a good idea. You know, yeah. to give people. Okay, a so the first match, Ivory Coast won three 0 against England. What a surprise! Shock. Shock horror. Our next match is going to be a tasty one, I think. It's Germany versus Ghana. I've got to give it to Germany on this one. I really do. Yeah, but it's only 1-0. Good effort. Very good effort from Ghana there. Next up is New Zealand versus Nigeria. Oh, God. This could be mm. a bloodbath. Mm. Yeah, it is a bloodbath. New Zealand, nil. Nigeria, seven. Nigeria off to a great start. In the Global Trophy Champion and Champions group stage. Off to a flyer. Yeah, really. next up it's Russia versus Spain. 
the Spain, Spanish have not been favourites here. Yep, it's another 1-0 sure. though, so at the moment the big the big European giants, they're not, they're draw, they're, 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 they're what, winning by 1-0, it's very close. And then there's, then there's Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, and then there's Nigeria that's just going straight for it. Um, for some reason, since we've got like nine teams, all of Tunisia's matches are going to be like at the end for some reason. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to play one after so. the other, which is okay, I guess. So we're going straight to fixture number two. Uh, Ivory Coast mm. versus Germany. It's currently uh, number two versus number three in the league. So big game. And it's ended in a draw. Interesting. Yes. Fair play. Ivory Coast won, Germany won. So Ivory Coast, at the moment, thanks to goal difference, currently top of the league. Fair play. Uh, but next is England versus Ghana, so Ghana will be getting a lovely, appearance be handed, three points. Of course. So I mean, I think they're top, don't they? Or uh, there. No, well, Ghana lost to Germany, so they'll be in the top so, four. That's a good effort. Um, I think they'll be in the top four, uh, but they'll be, I think, fourth, because they still won't be able to beat Nigeria's amazing, like, 7-1 victory. Or well, 7-0 <laughs> victory against New Zealand. Um, so there we go. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited for this. Not, this is not going for, really not, well so far. Not for England versus Ghana, obviously. You know, I mean, we no. know we, we know what's going to do. Match fixing and all that crap. We know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know. Luckily, we don't have a governing body or we'd be screwed. Uh, our, um, uh, the GTFA. Like the GTFO, yes. but the GTFA. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, next up, it's uh, rank number. It's, it's currently uh, ninth in the league versus seventh, or in the group stage. Uh, England are actually above New Zealand at this point. Yay. Oh, God, England, no. All right, it's New Zealand versus Russia. I've got to say Russia's the favourite. Yeah, it's, an, it's another... Well, at the moment, New Zealand have played two games, and they have not scored a goal, but they've conceded ten. It's 3-0 Russia. Fair play. Russia Fair play moves... Russia. Yep, Russia, Russia doing really well. Yep, Russia moves into fifth, only missing out on fourth at the moment because of alphabetical letter. Oh well, at no. the moment. Um, next match is Nigeria versus Spain. Spain is currently sixth. Uh, versus Nigeria is third. I give probably give this one to Spain, but Nigeria are a good team. It's ended in a draw, nil nil. Mm. So the top. Four teams at the moment are Nigeria, after fixture two, is Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Germany, Spain, in that order. All on four points. Well, that's uh, crazy. Tunisia and, well, Tunisia because they haven't played a game yet. And New Zealand still yet to get a point yet. But the other six teams, there's one point between them. This is going to be close. Mm, uh, it's absolutely. Ivory Coast versus Ghana next. Second versus fifth. And no. Ghana beat Ivory Coast to go first. Well, there you go. Yep. Uh, they won't be first for long because next is England versus Germany. And it's not going to end in a penalty decision for a change. Is it not? No, it's not. Because we don't have point penalties point. here. If, if, I, I kind of wish there was a penalty thing in this game. Kind of. Penalty, penalty shooter. Penalty league or something. Maybe. Even if England weren't the dud team, they still finish on zero points. Especially with their previous global trophy history. Well, yeah, absolutely. This is just going to be sort of like this. Is going to be this. There's some very sort of like interesting stuff in here, but like probably about thirty percent of this video is just going to be us trashing England in the global trophy. It's because England are bad in this game. They are bad. I don't know why they're bad. I don't bad. know why though. No, not me. They meant to be good at this time. Yeah. They're supposed to be at least decent. I mean, they made it in the World Cup that this game was made in. Yeah. But and no, they, were right. they 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 fail. So, Germany's win over England uh, puts them into first, with Ghana in second place. Next up is New Zealand versus Spain. I don't see this going well. I think New Zealand are going to be... Bummed here. Yeah. 8-0. That's a new record for the Global Trophy Champion of Champions. 8-0. Hey. Uh, Spain go first. Spain and Nigeria have not let in a goal yet. Fair play. We're going to the end of the, uh, the third fixture. Which is going to be Nigeria versus Russia, fourth versus sixth. Nigeria versus Russia. Well, it's Ooh. ended in a draw. Russia able to hold Nigeria to a draw. It was one-one. So uh, Spain now the only team in the group uh, that has not let in a single goal yet, bar Tunisia. But you know, 
they haven't played any game yet. So yeah, Tunisia haven't played any played the games, yeah. which is quite strange. But so okay. it's time. For, it, it's it's because they've got um, in this game. Um, it's we've got an odd amount of teams in the. Uh, ah. thing, so that's that's why they're doing it. That, that, we'll get to, okay. to Tunisia's later, but at the moment they're still seventh. So oh, okay. that's not too enough. bad for a team that hasn't played <laughs> any games yet. They're not bottom. <laughs> yep. Next up, speaking of bottom, is uh, Ivory Coast, who is currently uh, fifth. One point off fourth versus New Zealand. It's a 3-0 win for Ivory Coast. I think New Zealand would take that. They still the, haven't New, scored, New, though. New Zealand are, are going to be second from bottom down, I think, from England. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a shame, but there you go. It's England versus Nigeria next, and this will put Nigeria into first place with eight points. Um, so, yeah, Nigeria currently first, but there are still a few games left to play off the fourth fixture. Hmm. Um, I'm just just wondering how long has this gone for the moment. Oh god, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> These are gonna be long videos because we're going for we're going two legs. Oh damn! But we should just do the one. Nah, nah, we'll do the two. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. We're, we're getting through them pretty quickly now, so. Okay. Yeah, we we should be okay. Anyway, it's only 16 matches that we have to just be stop start because of bloody England. Yeah. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It doesn't take too long, and the rest of them we could just go through and everything so yeah it should be okay probably about maybe 40 45 minutes it's about the average of a global trophy really isn't it yeah it's all right so, I guess it's about right we're keeping it we could put that on like television and everything just have like advertisements now get up to an hour would be great <laughs> we'll be back after this break <laughs> we'll be out back after these messages next up it is germany versus russia germany who are randomly fourth at the moment Not doing uh, very well, aren't they? versus uh, russia who are sixth well, Germany do win, and they go straight to first. Hey. Uh, with a 2-0 win over Russia, they're on 10 points. Two points ahead of Nigeria. Fair play. Next Fair up play. is Spain versus Ghana. Ghana currently fifth, Spain a third. And Spain win 3-0, and they still, after four games, they have not let in a goal yet. Doing good, aren't they? Spain, yeah. very strong. Yeah, Spain on a dominant tear right now. Next up, it's uh, Ivory Coast versus Nigeria. It's third versus fourth. This is very important for both teams to win. Mm -hmm. And it goes to the Ivory Coast. Well, wow. that's a win over yeah. Nigeria there. Nigeria's first mm. defeat of the lead, of the uh, of the group stage so far. Ivory Coast go to second. Fair play to them. They've done a good job there. And finally, New Zealand are going to get a win. They're playing Woo. England. So New Zealand are going to be off the board. Off the bottom, at least. Off the bottom. They, they will never go back to the bottom because England will never get a point. But, oh. um... Oh, well. But yeah, I'm shocked about that. Ivory Coast beating Nigeria. That's a bit, that's, that's a bit of a shocker right there. Poor Nigeria. Yeah, you know, Nigeria getting shafted right here. The, Ivory Coast getting the win. Ivory Coast could maybe knock Nigeria off the perch. Nigeria, the, the, the second best team in this group. And they've Nigeria been beat by really... the fifth best team in this group. That's you have to a... say Nigeria are a very decent side anyway. Though. They, they've, they'll, I'm sure they'll come back. Yeah, well, they need to. We're over a quarter of the way through the uh, the current uh, group stage. Next up, it's a big crunch match. It's first versus third. It's Germany versus Spain. Hmm. We shall see. Spain are still undefeated and are still not letting a goal. 1-0 Spain. Unstoppable. Spain, Unstoppable. 13 points right now. They are three points ahead of second. Next Not up, bad. it's Ghana versus Russia. Fourth versus sixth. Oh, sorry. Uh, fifth versus sixth. This is a very important game for both teams. And it ends with a win for Russia. 2-0. Doing good. Yep, Russia Doing go above good. Ghana and a one point off Nigeria. Next up, it's uh, Russia again. This time against the Ivory Coast. They've beaten one African team. Can they beat another? Russia are very strong, though. The answer is yes, they can. Russia's in the top four and knock Nigeria well out of the top four. Well, that's crucial. That's very crucial because considering how good Nigeria are, you'd, you'd expect them to be right up there. So Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to have any problems with uh, Spain uh, losing uh, or uh, losing or getting any... Uh, any goal scored against them, it's England versus Spain. Don't know, man. Got so... a feeling. <laughs> Got a feeling. Oh, I should really just put a bet on these. 
<laughs> like, not, no, you're not allowed dud team bets, though. That's that's too... I'd go too broke. Easy. Too easy. Too easy. I got my new job last week. I'd go broke. Well, yes. Already. It's like finally getting money in and everything. And actually not being so bored. And, you know, finally got my job and everything. It's like, yay. And then start doing bets on this and broke. Don't worry. I just don't have any money at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... So, Spain currently six points clear at the top. With 16 points, a, 16, a plus 16 goal difference, and 16 goals for. They're on fire. Yeah. Um, next up is Germany versus New Zealand. So, it's uh, second versus seventh. I'm fairly certain Germany's going to win this one. Yep, by four. Four nil. New Zealand still it. yet to score. Oh, oh, okay, technically they have scored goals. Okay, uh, against everyone else except for... Except for England. Yeah. Yeah. Right, next up is Nigeria versus Ghana. Again, a very important match here. It's fifth, Nigeria versus sixth, Ghana. Nigeria do win 2-0, and they push Russia out of the top four. Nigeria, they, they need to start picking it up, because obviously, as we know, they are one of the better teams in the... Uh... In the, in the competition. Yep. This rate. Yeah, they're, they're gonna not, struggle. They're not looking they're too good. To... Germany's wailing on them right now, and so is Spain. Uh, mm. Speaking of Spain, they're up next against Ivory Coast. And Spain win 1 0 and are still undefeated and still have not let in a single goal. Unbelievable. Seven games in, 19 points, 17 goals for zero against. On fire. Next up is England versus Russia. So Russia are actually going uh, to be third at the end of this. So Russia, Russia are doing amazingly well right now. Unbelievable. Honestly, the fact that they've they've got to this point, you know, Russia played really well. They're not normally known as one of the stronger teams, but they're doing it. And Yo. they're doing a great job. They deserve to be where they are. Yo, Russia, the, the, out of the eight teams that could go through, they're the seventh-ranked team. Hmm. And they're doing of, uh, amazingly well so far. Se seven, seventh out of eight. Yeah. They're seventh out of eight, but they're about to go third with a win over England. Hmm. That's, uh, That's amazing. This, this is big from Russia. Russia could be a, a dark horse in this tournament. They just need to keep their form. Yeah. They... Obviously, T Tunisia, we don't really know much about. Tunisia might start to pick it up. Yeah, exactly. When their matches just come straight and they just, like, fly up the table. As they will. Um, mm. Next up, it is Germany versus Nigeria. Now, if Germany lose by three goals, Russia go to second. It's crazy. Oh, no, they don't. No, they don't, because Nigeria would then go to second. Okay, never mind. Forget that. <laughs> Uh, in fact, Germany won by three, so 3-0 three to Germany. Nigeria still in fourth, Russia in third, Germany in they're second, they're... Spain first. See, they're there or thereabouts, aren't they, the, uh, the uh, Nigerians? Yep. Uh, and our last match of uh, fixture number seven is Ghana, New Zealand. Sixth versus seventh. Ghana need to win this. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. And they do. 2-0. Ghana are one point behind Ivory Coast, two behind Nigeria, who are currently fourth. So, very important. And finally, here comes Tunisia's first game. Yay! They're against the Ivory Coast, who are currently fifth. And Tunisia are off the bat with a win. 2-1. Well done, Tunisia. Well done, Tunisia. They needed they need a win, and they've obviously, you know, they, they need to stop, obviously, playing their games. Yep. <laughs> Wait, well, obviously. Might as well start off with a win. Yep. Uh, next up is Germany versus England. So Germany are going to be on level points with Spain, but Spain do have a game in hand at this point. So, um, yeah, Spain could easily keep the lead at currently three, at three points mm -hmm. at the top mm -hmm. of that table. Um, so, yeah, we are, uh, we're nearly halfway through already. So, do you see how quick that this, this, this picks up slowly? Yeah, how, how quick? How, 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 how? Let, 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 let me, let me, let me just say what I just said. Can you see how quickly this picks up slowly? Yes, that's a great oxymoron. <laughs> oh, that, the only moron is me right now. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. But, you know. Oxy, oxygen, I breathe it, so I guess I am an oxymoron at this point. Science! <laughs> anyway, and yes. banter and all that stuff. Of course. Yes, indeed. 
Uh, anyway, so a victory there for Germany puts them on the same amount of points as Spain. I'd say that for the moment, unless things go terribly wrong, Spain and Germany are pretty safe Ooh. so far. Uh, next up is Ghana versus New Zealand. Ghana need to win here. Yes, they, they do. Absolutely. They, they do win. It's 2-0 to Ghana. Ghana so still yet to score. Yep. Ghana, uh, at the moment, have knocked Nigeria down into fifth, but Nigeria do have a game in hand, but it's against Russia. Not easy then, not you easy. You are the, the dark horses so far. Doing really well. I think, you know, Russia... We weren't really expecting it, because Russia had yeah. never really showed up in the European section, so the fact and that they're now... Competing Russia well. have held Nigeria to a draw. Ooh, interesting. Nigeria do go above Ghana because of goal difference. Uh, so they're in fourth. Russia solidifying third at the moment. Except yep. Next up, it's England versus Tunisia. So Tunisia going to get f some more points here. Six points for Tunisia in two games. Good start in the league yeah. so far. Good start. Um, but yeah, Russia. Russia are at the moment the uh, they're the shockers in this so far. I'd say. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we're not sure how Tunisia are going to do. Tunisia could, you know, knock everyone off their perch, even Spain and Germany. But you know, you never know. Spain and Germany, I think, are fairly secure bets at this point. But unless something goes terribly wrong, yeah, I'd say they're safe at this point. We are only halfway through the se uh, the season, <laughs> the group stage. We're halfway through the group stage, so. Um... You know, no, maybe we could see Tunisia, Russia, Nigeria fight back, and then they'll be fighting out for four, Spain and Germany, but I doubt it. Speaking of Germany, it's Germany versus the Ivory Coast. If they win or draw, they will go above Spain, but Spain would have two games in hand at that point. Yeah. Germany maybe. do win against the Ivory Coast, putting them on 22 points uh, in nine games. But Spain do have two games in hand. They're only three points behind. Ooh. Next up, a very important game. Two teams who are both on 12 points. One is fourth, one is fifth. This is a big Ooh. crunch match. It's Ghana versus Nigeria. We're into the second half of the uh, of the group stage. It's getting close now. It's yep. getting, to the, getting to the point where you need to start, uh, need to start stepping up. Yep, and that's exactly what Nigeria is doing. A 1-0 win for Nigeria puts them third. Uh, above Russia, but Russia have a game in hand, then then matches against New Zealand. Oh, good. Which is uh, pretty simple. Yep, it's a 3-0 win for Russia. So, Russia, at the moment, 17 points in 9 games. Not too bad. They haven't dropped too many points yet. No, they picked up points with any two. I think they've only dropped 10 points in yeah. total, so fair enough. And uh, Spain still can't be asked to play at this point. We're back to Germany. Um, and they're going against Tunisia. Interesting one. We're currently seventh. Uh, Germany first. Germany do beat Tunisia. So Tunisia lose 4-0. There you go. That's a big win there for Germany. Puts them six ahead of Spain. But Spain have three games in hand now over Germany. Uh, next is England versus the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is obviously going to win. And that will put them up to fifth above Ghana. Yeah, Ghana more and more looking like they're not going to... I'm not going to be able to get there, I think, but it's, yeah. you know, it's not over yet. Well, New Zealand, I think I'm fairly certain they're not going to do it. No, I think they're, they're well and truly out, aren't they? Yeah, I, th I think they're out, but I think any of the other teams could still make it at this point. Except England, obviously. Except England, yeah. So I'd say we've got seven teams that can still make it. Um, which makes it all the more exciting. I think Germany and Spain are safe. Unless something goes yes. horrendously wrong for both of them. Yes, but uh, you, you like to think so, considering the fact that they're miles ahead of everyone else. True, true. Especially, you know, if, if Spain win their games in hand, they'll be miles ahead of... Well, they won't be miles ahead of Germany. They'll be three points ahead. But that's more than miles ahead of everyone else there. So, yeah, Germany and Spain, fairly certain they're going to be going through. And they're not going to be uh, dud teams. Next up, it is third place Russia versus sixth place Ghana. Ghana need a win here. They Give don't get a win. Russia moved to second. Amazing. Fair play to Russia. They've really turned up, haven't they, really? A 3-1 win for Russia puts them above Spain. But Spain have three games in hand. So that could all change. But Russia in to second place. They've had a quality league, haven't they? I mean, it obviously depends on how the 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 knockouts go as well. But they, they could do themselves proud even by this. Yep. Next up is Nigeria versus New Zealand. Nigeria going to win. 
Wow, by 1 0. That was it. Wow. Good performance from New Zealand there. Nigeria not doing as well as we thought they would. But even still, really best place in New Zealand to just yeah. being yeah. checked. Next, <laughs> yeah. Next up is Ghana, who are currently 6th versus Tunisia, who are 7th. It's a draw between the two teams. Ghana really need to step their game up. The top four teams, the lowest is 18 points, and that's Nigeria. Ivory Coast have 13. They need to step it up now. They're going out. Nigeria? Uh, no, Ivory Coast and Ghana at the moment. Oh, those, the, yeah. They're the, five the points behind the top four. Hmm? We're starting to see the gaps open up now. Next up, it's New Zealand versus the Ivory Coast. Speaking of stepping up, that is exactly what Ivory Coast did, but only with a 1 0 victory. Oh, so, New sorry. Zealand, they've had, they've had a pretty decent last few games, but they still lost and not scored a goal. So, yeah. Next up is Nigeria versus England. So, Nigeria are about to go above Spain as well, but Spain have like four games in hand. Jesus Christ. So I mean, think that they did. England did a good job. Spain just can't be asked to play at this point. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll let them catch up for a bit and then we'll just come back a they, bit. Then they, we'll crush everyone else. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I would not be surprised if Spain go ahead and win this uh, group. Especially with their current run of performances. I mean, what, they, I haven't, think, they haven't let in a single goal yet in seven games. Will. By this point, I think they've already done enough, haven't they? So. Yeah, I'd say so. I said, unless they go on a complete and utter flop, then they, then they should be okay. Which isn't inconceivable, with that said. But it's not like Spain. No. Three-time Global Trophy Champions is not really like them. Alright, so with that one out of the way, England losing yet again, obviously. Uh, a 3-0 win for Nigeria puts them up into second above Russia. Russia do have a game in hand over them, but it's against Germany. Great. Just what they wanted. Yeah, it's a 4-1 win for Germany. Um, <laughs> Russia still in third. So they're still doing okay. Next up is New Zealand versus Tunisia. Tunisia, uh, six points behind Ghana, but 11 games in hand over Ghana. Or well, seven games in hand over Ghana. Hmm. New Zealand scored a goal! Not that it matters. <laughs> yeah, they lost 4-1. But uh, they scored a goal, though. So there you go. That's, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing, right? That's a plus. They scored a goal against a team that wasn't a dud. So well done, New Zealand. Good job. They, they, they finally scored their first goal of the league, and I think that's, that's probably It took the them 12, well, 11 games to do so, but never mind. All right, Ghana versus the Ivory Coast. It's sixth versus fifth. Very important match this is. This could, uh, this could separate the teams who, or the team that could make it through in fourth to the team that won't. It's a very important game for each team here. And the win goes to the Ivory Coast, who are now joint points with Spain. Not bad. Yeah, so Ivory Coast currently on 19 points alongside Spain. Next up is Russia versus England. So Russia, another three points for Russia here. Russia? Yeah, they've got a, got a good effort. You know, Russia aren't exactly out of it. No, they're, they're more than still in it. I mean, they're, they're in the top three. Yeah, exactly. So, so Russia are more than gonna... still in it. Yeah. Definitely Russia is still in it. Just going to check mm -hmm. the time again. Yeah, there we go. See, we're, we're close to the end, and we're on about 30... We're on about 40 minutes, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. Not yeah, too not bad. Too, it's not too bad. I mean, it would have been bad if we just went, like, 20, like 25 minutes just for a group stage. you got to make it more! Yeah. More content! More quality content! In HD, 1080p, no less. Well, yeah. there you go. You see, that's the main thing. Yeah. No, not 60 FPS. you got to pay me for that. <laughs> Right, so Maybe with that, we yeah, with a Patreon in the description below. Uh, so with that, Russia are currently second. They've gone above Nigeria, but Nigeria do have a game in hand, but it's against Germany, so it's a complete flip from the last fixture. Mm. But this time, Nigeria get the win over Germany. Wow. So Nigeria That's... up to second, four points behind Germany. That's quite surprising. Didn't expect that at all. Yeah, well, at they're going to close the gap. Of, they may close the gap a bit more because it's Nigeria versus Tunisia next. In the, uh, the 13th fixture. And it's a 6-0 win for Nigeria. They're just rocking it now. They've turned up, finally. They have finally turned up. It's about time. Next up, it's Russia versus the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast need a win over Russia. 
There's mm. there's four points between them, and after this, there'll be three games left for them. So it's close. Ivory Coast need to win here. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Russia have held them to a draw. Well, Russia just keeping, just staying in that top three, that top four space right now. Spain dropped to fifth, but they have six games in hand. And then well, nine points behind Germany, so... Well, they might. Yeah. Next up is Ghana versus England, so Ghana will be getting a few points here, but I I don't think yeah, Ghana I, will. I would, I would suggest that... Yeah, I would suggest that they're already gone. Unless Russia and the Ivory Coast have big problems or they go up against the big teams like Spain and Germany um, and maybe Nigeria um, I'd say Ghana's pretty much done here but yeah, you never know they so. may just sneak through in a fourth do you think Russia's done enough at this point to go through I hope so because they've performed so well at the start and I think you know they yeah mm. yeah well Russia yeah. certainly Russia what, the, the seventh best team in this group and they're in like the top three they're just staying they're just staying in there mm. it's amazing performance from russia so far next up is new zealand versus germany so germany are going to be able to get another three points here obviously with a new record of a 13 nil Whoa. victory for germany there well they, they finally turned up there yep. germany dominant germany four points ahead of nigeria in second place uh, they are 12 points ahead of Spain. Ooh. So that's pretty good for them. Next up is Russia versus Tunisia. Tunisia currently 7th. They kind of still have a chance. I mean, they've got loads of games in hand. Uh, but Russia, <clears throat> currently 3rd. And Russia still win there. again! Wow. 27 points now for Russia. They're on the same amount of points as Nigeria is. Fantastic effort. Yep. Fantastic effort. Nigeria now versus the Ivory Coast. This could, be a very, out, this could be a very important match. Nigeria do win. It's only a 1-0 win, but it's a win. So the top three look pretty solid right now. It's Germany on 31. Nigeria on 30. Russia on 27. Obviously, Spain have still got to play. Yep, Spain are on yeah. 19 right now, but they have like seven games in hand. I reckon, they, I reckon they'll win the group still, yeah. Spain. And have, have little, Ivory Coast are on there. 20 in fourth. So, Russia third with 27. Ivory Coast fourth with 20. That's a big gap. Mm. Next up, it's New Zealand versus England. Who cares? It's <laughs> New Zealand are going to finish bottom of their, of, 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 of the group. Of the, of the real teams, not duds. They're going to finish the bottom of their group. So, Crazy. a Crazy few stuff. extra points. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When I because I got all these all like in book form, whatever. They're like just okay, pretty much just a bunch of pieces of paper just stapled together. Um, I'm g just gonna get rid of England entirely in in the groups, uh, and then just get rid of like six points, six goal difference, and six goals for, and then just do it like that. So it looks pro more professional. Of course. Instead of, of course. having England be in every single group and losing. Yeah, exactly. We're just, we're just, we're just ignore the. Uh, Which is realistic, ignore. but not professional. So there we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and uh, uh, a second win there for New Zealand. Um, yay. Yeah. <laughs> yay. Uh, they're on uh, six points <laughs> right hey. now. Uh, well, next up, that. it's Ghana versus Germany. Ghana do still have a chance to get into that top four, but it's going to be tough. They're currently it's sick. Slim. It's slim now. They've got to start winning every game, pretty it's, much. It's gotten even slimmer. Uh, Germany win 2 0. Germany are pretty much safe at this point. Yeah, I'd say uh, so. We're about to go now into fixture number 15, bar Spain and Tunisia, who have both played seven games apiece. They are now going against be, each other. It's going to be interesting. This, this is crucial time. Yep, and Spain win. Only 1-0, but they do win. And Spain's up again next. Hey, They're against the Ivory this Coast. Is, this, this, this is the, uh, the Spain time to shine. Yeah, well, Spain have moved up to fourth. Well, they'll also, yeah, they're pretty much already through them. Yep, and 3 0 win over Ivory Coast puts them still in fourth, but two behind Russia. Well, there you go. Yep. Next up is Tunisia Crucial. versus England. So, Tunisia are going to get an extra three points here. Hey, nice. So, Tunisia not out of it yet, I'd say. They need a bit of a good run, but they're not out of it just yet. I'd say Ooh. I think that Ghana definitely are out of it now. 
with like I think yeah. like one game to go, I think they're they're definitely out of the game now. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame, but obviously, yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. I'd say the top four are Russia, Nigeria, Germany, and Spain, but Tunisia Which... might prove a shocker. Well, yeah, it's it, I mean fair play to Russia for turning up and doing a good job. Nigeria eventually got going. It's just you know until. Yeah, well, Russia are only like a few points behind Germany and Nigeria. That's pretty good going. Yeah, exactly. Considering Germany are a former champion and Nigeria a former runners-up. Yeah, and Spain slowly climbing on them and everything. Next up is Tunisia yeah. versus the Ivory Coast. Big match needed here. Ivory Coast, yeah, they're out. And Ivory Coast are out of it as well. This is their final game. And they there draw it. There Ivory Coast go, finish off on 21 points. Not enough, I'm afraid, to go through. Ivory Coast are definitely out. Ghana are out. It's, it's between Tunisia, Spain, Russia, Nigeria, and Germany right now. Will Tunisia get enough points to catch Russia is the question. Yeah, I well, don't think they will. Spain are about to go above Russia here because they're going against England in England's final game. So we're, we're getting right to the end of it now. We have Spain yeah, and Tunisia it. just rising up the ranks. See what can happen. Yep. Germany are currently first, but I don't know if that will still continue. Spain still yet to let in a goal. Amazing. Which is amazing, amazing from Spain. Spain, they could be massive opponents here. They could be probably, they could, they could even turn to being the, um, from what we see from the next few groups, but they could be the favourites. Well, one of them. Obviously, they're going to be up there. They're former champions for a reason, so... Yeah, but especially with these group stages, they've just had a dominant tear so far. Only one draw so far for Spain. The rest of them have been wins. Right, and England's final game puts them six, uh, puts them ninth and bottom. No surprise. Next up, it's Spain versus Germany. Spain currently third, Germany first. There's only six points between them, but Spain have four games in hand. Spain win 2 0 and are still not letting a goal yet. This is so strong. Spain are going to be so hard to beat. Yep. Next up is Tunisia versus Ghana. Ghana are pretty much out of it, but Tunisia, they need a win here. They don't get it. Ghana win. I think Tunisia are out. Their next match against Germany, which they also lose. Tunisia, I'm fairly certain, are out of it now. Yeah, fair play to, to Germany. And they are out of Russia. it. They are out of it. But Russia are on 27 points. Tunisia are on 14. Tunisia have four games to go. They're not going to be able to catch Russia. Russia have qualified. Well done. So it's fair play to them. Germany, Spain, Nigeria, and Russia. So we were expecting Spain, Nigeria, and Germany. Nigeria. Yeah. But then Russia make it through. So fair play to Russia there. But there you go. So we have our top four. Let's keep going and see who can get the, who can get the more points. Spain versus Ghana next. Another 3 0 win for Spain. They're, uh, they're on a roll. What can I say? Spain versus New Zealand. Oh, God. That's a 7 0 win for Spain. Spain is just fucking yeah. on fire. Germany have finished their games. They're, they've played their 16 games. They finish on 37. Spain have got three games left to go and they are on 37. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Tunisia versus Nigeria next. Really, now it's maybe a battle for third between Nigeria and Russia right now. Well, it would depend on who they play, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, Tunisia. I, I think I, they've got Tunisia. I think they've got like uh, Tunisia and Spain or something. Yeah, because I, I believe Nigeria. Obviously, depending on where he finishes, who, he's who you might draw in the next round. I believe. Uh, no, not not in this one because it's just random. Oh, okay. That's right. that's the actual World Cup. That would have been great right. if we could do that, but sadly we can't do that on this game. No. Game's primitive. You know, Tunisia versus Nigeria. Nigeria win 2 0, and. Oh, it's not looking good for Russia. Russia need to win the next two games. Uh, and Nigeria needs to lose their next game by a big margin for uh, Russia to get in the third by goal difference. Well, that's alright, though. They're, I mean, they're, they're through anyway. So. They're through. Whether they'll have enough points to not be the dud team, though, is a different story. That's my, that might be the problem with Russia. Next up is Tunisia versus New Zealand. So. He, it's a draw! <laughs> New Zealand has scored a point. <laughs> they've scored an actual non-dud point. So really, if you count out the wins against England, they finish on one point. Brilliant. I love it. Well done, New Zealand. Next up, it's Spain versus Nigeria. It's a draw, and Spain have finally let in a goal. 1-1 one, one was the score. Which means Respect that Russia cannot catch Nigeria to third. Russia still through, but 
Spain have finally cracked. They finally cracked a 1-1 draw. They did beat Russia though 2-0, which puts them on 41 points with one game to go. Tunisia versus Russia now. Russia to finish off their run here in the Global Trophy with a 4-0 win over Tunisia. Russia finish on 30 points. Domination. I mean, you have to say massive credit to a fantastic team. They've done such a good job. Yep. Russia. weren't expecting Russia to perform as well as they did. Yep, an amazing run there from Russia. And the last match of the group, Spain versus Tunisia. It's seventh versus first, and the win goes to Spain. 3-0, 44 points for Spain. So, in what, 16 games? Yep. So they only dropped, like, two points. They dropped altogether, they dropped four points. Amazing. Honestly, amazing. The fact that Spain have been able to do that is, is ridiculous. Yep. They won 14, they drew two, they were undefeated throughout the entire thing. Amazing. They let in Honestly, one amazing. goal. 44 points. So, in last place is England, obviously. But Doesn't the count. real last place with seven points is New Zealand. Mm, very Fifth, good effort. Uh, seventh place with 15 is Tunisia. Sixth Great. with 19 is Ghana. So Tunisia didn't finish that far behind Ghana in the yep. end. Uh, fifth with 21, missing out by nine points is Ivory Coast. That's a big gap to be fair, isn't it? Yep. Fourth. Nine points is a bit of a gap. Yep. Fourth with 30 points is Russia. Well done to them. Third with 34 is Nigeria. I think they'll be happy. The fact that they were only two, you know, three points behind Germany is a good effort. Yep. Second with 37 is Germany. Leaving Again. first with 44 is Spain. Spain dominant, you know, they are the three-time champions in this group. Obviously, as we know, Germany have won one, but somewhat fluky. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but there we go. So, Spain are the winners of the group. Germany, yeah. Nigeria and Russia qualify for the round of 16. And we've got to say goodbye to the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Tunisia... And a pitiful attempt from New Zealand. Although New Zealand are ranked, you know, ranked quite low. And in fairness, 30, yeah. they only qualify on the premise that they've done so well in Oceana over the like, last few years. Which, yeah, we, which nowadays isn't really a thing. Yeah, we do have to put that into uh, effect. So this could be New Zealand's only time ever in the Global Trophy Champion Champions. You never know. But Spain looking good. You, know, yeah. you, you think, you look at the, obviously, there's a long way to go. There's a long way to go. But you have to look and... Spain are one of the big big powerhouses, aren't they? You know, yeah. I, I think realistically you you, you gotta look at your your Italy's, your France's, you know, your Argentina's being there or thereabouts. But it's hard to it's hard to look past Spain as well. Spain are gonna be difficult to beat. Yes, well if Spain do go on to win the global trophy, they will be undefeated throughout the entire competition, which doesn't happen often in any global trophy format. No, I think the only team that has done it so far is France. I think so. And Argentina. I think I think France has done it and Argentina has done it. Yeah, I think they both did it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the first group stage. Um, yes. Spain, Germany, Nigeria, and Russia all qualify for the Global Trophy uh, Champion of Champions round of 16. And uh, any team coming up uh, from groups B, C, or D, if you are a, if you're in the top four. You need over 30 points to make sure you're not the dud team. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting that, that you use this group as like a guide, because obviously we haven't done this before. We've got to practice this or anything before. We now have a sort of an idea of how many points you do actually need to go through, especially with the, with the more difficult groups later on, where it's not, you know, not as clear cut. Yeah, so it could be, you know, it could be, you know, more points than 30 is required, but we, we'll have to wait and see. It could be. Well, for the moment, Russia on 30 points is the benchmark. So, pretty much anything over that, and you probably won't be a dud team unless it's a very difficult group. Yeah. Yeah, unless there's one dominant team and then the rest are just kind of beating each other. Yeah. Even more dominant than Spain. But anyway, that is it for the first group stage of the Global Trophy Champion of Champions 2018. Uh, I've been Mastraff. 
I have been Sam Alexi to four. And we'll be seeing you next week for Group B, including teams like Gabon, Morocco, Iran, Colombia, South Korea, and the big three, Portugal, Italy, and Brazil. Next week is the Group of Death. Yes, there's, there's, a, few, there's a few teams in there that could do something, but should be exciting. Yes. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.